Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode. Today we're gonna go to France, to Bordeaux, and taste a third growth from Margot. Let's go ahead and check it out. Fourteen Chateau Kirwan uh, from Margot Bordeaux. Um, 2014. Let's talk about the vintage a, a little bit. Good year, a lot better than you know 20, uh, 2011, 2012, 2013. So really a good vintage for 2014. So definitely expecting a lot for this one. Uh, Chateau Kirwan, like I said, from Margot. Um, lots of history in that chateau. It is a third growth. A fun little fact for you guys is that Thomas Jefferson uh, actually stopped by there to do a tasting and uh, you know he did a few properties and Chateau Kirwan was one of the few properties that he stopped at uh, to do a tasting and that was in the late 1700s so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, on this you know, on the color, we're really going to see that dark cherry, and this is really going to be young. So, um, you know, I'm sure it's going to be very intense in fruits, lots of tannins, uh, but it's just, uh, it really has that beautiful um, dark ruby color. On the, on the nose, let's see what it's got. Oh my god, lots of cassis jumping at you, lots of red berries. Very concentrated, it feels like a very uh, sweet fruit, a uh, lot, like I said, very sweet uh, cassis. Um, that's on the nose, it doesn't, the tannins don't jump at me too much, it's just more of the, that red, strong fruitiness that you are going to get in a lot of Bordeaux, especially in the um, younger uh, vintages. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it's, uh, see what it has on, on the palate. Okay, so as soon as you drink it, the tannins are definitely present and there. So if you're gonna be drinking this in the next few years, make sure you decant it, air it out to really, really let the wine breathe. Um, this is very, it's, it's, it's very interesting. It's a little bit all over the place for me on the palate. I'm getting some some coffee, some oak. Just um, I don't think it's as intense and, and fruitiness as red fruit on the palate as it is on the nose. Um, I, I feel like this is very young to um, to you know to, to drink this, but I feel like this wine has a lot of potential. It's really uh, has really a boldness to it that I like. Definitely gonna let this air out a bit more before. Um, enjoying the rest of the bottle but like I said just a lot of oaks some you know some coffee beans I'm picking up in there a little bit of uh, that mineral soil but it's just uh, you can tell that again it's a very young wine but this you keep it for you know at least 10 years and on it is going to be a fantastic wine so this is a great wine a great third growth by Chateau Kirwan Really like it, has a lot of potential. It's priced very well as well. And this is definitely a wine that you're gonna to wanna to have in your um, cellar and age, age it a little bit. And if you can get a few bottles, try them out you know, every two or three years and really see how the wine evolves. That's always something fun to do, especially with a very affordable wine like Chateau Kirwan, and yet with a lot of, um, you know, with a lot of quality in the wine. So this one's a keeper and until next time, cheers.